If you're like most people, you want, at a minimum, a compact SUV that is both reliable and fuel efficient, but with so many compact SUVs to choose from, how do you create a short list of ones that should be strongly considered? Well, in today's video, we're going to give you exactly that. A list of nine reliable and fuel efficient SUVs courtesy of a recent report compiled and published by Consumer Reports. Let's get started. Starting off, the list at number 9 is the most popular SUV in America, the Toyota RAV4. For the purposes of this list, Consumer Reports specifically narrowed in on the RAV4 hybrid due to its very high fuel economy of 41 miles per gallon in a city and 38 miles per gallon on the highway. The RAV4 hybrid comes standard with all-wheel drive and features a rugged style, excellent handling, and offers a 2.5-liter gas engine paired with two electric motors that combined produce an impressive 219 horsepower, enabling the hybrid model to easily outperform the gas-only version when it comes to acceleration. The ride itself, however, isn't perfect, according to the group, as they indicate it can sometimes feel stiff and engine noise can be annoying. Moving on over the safety. The RAV4 is solid with a top safety pick designation from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety and a five-star rating from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, also known as NHTSA. Finally, over time, the RAV4 has consistently scored very high in reliability, although scores did dip after the last redesign in 2019 but bounced back considerably with the 2021 model. Prices for the Toyota RAV4 hybrid start at $29,000. $575 before destination charges, taxes, and other fees. The next SUV on the list at number 8 is another Toyota, the relatively new Toyota Corolla Cross. Although the Corolla Cross is classified as a SUV, Consumer Reports calls it a pseudo-wagon. We're not sure we agree with that description, but regardless, the Corolla Cross offers a lot including large windows, a simple interior, and a relatively roomy backseat. Drivers will enjoy generous headroom and legroom, while all passengers will appreciate how easy it is to get in and out of the Corolla Cross. One downside to the Corolla Cross is its relatively underpowered 2.0-liter 169-horsepower four-cylinder engine with a CVT transmission that provides for unexciting acceleration. The upshot of this engine, however, is good fuel economy of 31 miles per gallon in the city 33 on the highway for an average fuel efficiency of 32 miles per gallon. Since the Corolla Cross is on the newer side, Consumer Reports has very little historical data to use in determining reliability, but they do indicate that they expect the vehicle to perform at least on par with other new vehicles. Prices for the Toyota Corolla Cross begin at $22,445 and max out in the low $30,000 range. Coming in at number seven, we have another hybrid, the Lexus UX. The UX is essentially a small hybrid hatchback that's been slightly lifted and sold as an SUV. Its small size, though, does offer multiple advantages, including that it's highly maneuverable, with just a 35-foot turning radius and excellent fuel economy of 43 miles per gallon in the city and 41 on the highway. Although the UX doesn't drive like a sports car, it does offer a comfortable ride and responsive handling as well as optional all-wheel drive. However, visibility isn't great and the rear seat is far from an optimal size. Safety is rock solid on the UX as it obtained the top safety pick designation from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety and a five-star rating from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Now Lexus, of course, is Toyota's premium brand and much like most other Toyotas, the UX rates good in reliability, coming in at fourth out of 11 vehicles for reliability in Consumer Reports' entry-level luxury sport utility vehicle category. The Lexus UX starts at $35,925 and pushes $50,000 fully equipped. Honda joins the party at number six with one of the best-selling SUVs in the country, the CRV. The CRV is an affordable and comfortable compact SUV that offers not only a good amount of both cabin and cargo space, but attractive fuel economy as well. The gas only model comes in at 28 miles per gallon in the city, 34 on the highway for a combined 30 miles per gallon, 
while the hybrid version jumps up to 40 miles per gallon in the city, 35 on the highway, and 38 overall. Beyond good fuel economy, the CRV is an attractive SUV because it is easy to enter and exit in both the front and back row, and passengers will find the ride relatively quiet with little road or wind noise seeping into the cabin. The CRV rates second from the top in Consumer Reports ratings for reliability in the compact sport utility category and rates very high in safety, as well with a top safety pick designation from the IHS and a five star rating from NHTSA. Prices for the Honda CRV start at $26,800 and top out around $40,000. Lexus pops back on the list at number 5 with the Lexus NX Luxury Compact Sport Utility Vehicle. The NX was completely redesigned for the 2022 model year, with a more aggressively styled exterior, as well as a more modern and classy interior, including an interior lighting system that offers 64 color options. The NX now comes in three versions, a standard gas-powered model, a hybrid model, and a plug-in hybrid model. Although all three versions rate high, Consumer Reports specifically recommended the standard hybrid version known as the MX 350H. This version comes in at 41 miles per gallon in the city, 37 on the highway for a combined rating of 39 miles per gallon. Beyond fuel efficiency, the NX rates very high in reliability and offers a variety of advanced safety features, not to mention the highest safety designation from the IHS of Top Safety Pick Plus. Prices for the NX start at $39.5 for the standard gas-powered version and $42.7 for the hybrid, while the plug-in hybrid model starts at a whopping $57,300. Coming in strong at number 4 is the first, but not the only Sumeru to make the grade. The Sumeru Crosstrek is a standard all-wheel drive SUV that focuses far more on function over form and drives much more like a car than a SUV. Much like other SUVs on this list, there is more than one version of the Crosstrek. First, there's a standard gas-powered model that offers combined fuel efficiency of 30 miles per gallon, and then there's a plug-in hybrid model that provides up to 17 miles of driving range on electric power and 33 miles per gallon overall in hybrid mode. Beyond fuel efficiency, the hybrid model also offers much quicker acceleration compared to the somewhat lackluster engine found in the standard gas model. For manual transmission enthusiasts, or CVT transmission haters, the Crosstrek comes standard on lower-end trim levels with a manual six-speed transmission. Reliability ratings for the Crosstrek by Consumer Reports are top-notch, as are safety ratings as the Crosstrek shines there too, with the second-highest designation of top safety pick from the IHS, as well as a five-star rating from NHTSA. Prices for the Subaru Crosstrex start at $23,645, while the plug-in hybrid version starts at around $37. Buyers of the hybrid model may be eligible for federal tax credits of $4,500. Coming in at number 9 is, well, the Toyota RAV4. Again, this is not an error as Toyota sells a version of the RAV4 called the RAV4 Prime that is unique enough to receive separate ratings from consumer reports. The RAV4 Prime is a plug-in hybrid model of the RAV4 that offers up to 42 miles of EPA-rated driving range on electricity only and 38 miles per gallon when switched into hybrid mode. All RAV4 Prime SUVs come standard as all-wheel drive and offer a powerful combined 302 horsepower that results in brisk acceleration and happens to be 100 more horsepower than the standard gas-powered RAV4. In fact, the RAV4 accelerates so quickly that in certain tests conducted by Car and Driver magazine, it actually beats the Toyota Supra. Even though most of the differences between the standard RAV4 and RAV4 Prime are mostly related to the powertrain, the RAV4 Prime does manage to outperform the standard model in reliability, which along with its fuel efficiency ratings, explain the higher ranking on this list. Prices for the RAV4 Prime start at a little over $40,000 and exceed $50,000 fully equipped. The second and last Subaru appears on our list at number two, the Subaru Forester. The Forester is quite popular because it checks so many boxes, such as a comfortable ride, responsive handling, easy-to-use controls and superb visibility, 
as well as high fuel economy of 26 miles per gallon in the city, 33 on the highway, or a combined rating of 29 overall. The flip side to this high fuel economy is that the engine doesn't offer exciting acceleration, but at least you get a roomy interior cabin, a spacious rear seat, and easy access when going in and out of the vehicle. Consumer Reports rates the Forester high in reliability, while the IIHS awarded the Forester its highest rating of top safety pick plus. NHTSA ratings are strong too, with five stars out of five. Prices for the Subaru Forester start at $25,895 and push the upper $30,000 range fully equipped. Hyundai's first and only appearance on this list happens to come in at the top with the recently redesigned Hyundai Tucson. The Tucson's new design is called Daring by Car and Driver and is available in three versions, a standard gas-powered model, a hybrid model, and a plug-in hybrid version. According to Consumer Reports, the hybrid model is the one to get, as its 1.6-liter turbo engine produces a robust 226 horsepower, while still delivering EPA fuel economy ratings of 38 miles per gallon in both city and highway driving. The cabin of the Tucson is attractive, modern, and relatively quiet, not to mention roomy, including the back seat and cargo area. Reliability ratings from Consumer Reports are superb as are safety ratings with a top safety pick plus, designation from the IHS, and five stars from NHTSA. Prices for the Hyundai Tucson come in just under 30 k for the standard hybrid and exceeds $40,000 fully equipped. Looks like that's going to do it. Thanks for watching.